All right, so Zach is getting ready to vacuum clamp his uh, jumbo soundboard again. Got everything taped. Just got to add a couple calls for the lower, uh, the rosette supports and the bridge patch. Um, we'll add a little call on top so that the vacuum bag is able to uh, add pressure to those lower sitting braces and supports. And so. That's something that you'd have to do on both a classical and a steel. And so we have to add them on the rosette supports and bridge patch in this case. If you were doing the traditional popsicle brace, that would also need one up in front of that upper harmonic bar. This jumbo has a spruce bridge patch, about three millimeters thick rather than a hardwood. Okay, now we'll go ahead and get it ready in the back. Okay, so now we're gonna get this thing vacuum going. So we're gonna seal off the vacuum bag. Again, this whole process is taking all under 10 minutes, considerably less than the big our deck. And then we're going to have very even pressure, uniform pressure rather, and uh, sticks. So here goes the vacuum bag, and the that. And you'll see this sort of slowly close up around it until it's hugging all the braces. And again, this is the same vacuum used for the vacuum stand, vacuum bridge clamp. Very versatile. You can see the bag just shrinking up. Those are endless braces. It's really So here we are vacuum bracing the back. We have just a, a rail put in there to just keep the bars uh, from tilting or anything. And then there's uh, a rail for them to each uh, line up against and a beam to keep them from tilting under pressure. So see the bags shrinking up. Good even pressure. Thanks for watching. Here we go. This is the USGM vacuum clamp, bridge clamp. Again, the same vacuum that we use for uh, bracing for the vacuum stand. See how much suction that's able to apply to our bridge. It works wonderfully. Of course, the bridge is pinned so it does not move. That's the uh, vacuum bridge clamping.